Hey everybody, do you have an X-Touch control surface and you've been wondering how to connect it to mixing station to control whatever mixer you're using with that software? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to connect it to mixing station on PC via USB MIDI. So the first thing we need to do is power on our X-Touch and set it up to use USB MIDI. So to do that, you hold the select button on the first channel and power on the device. This puts you into setup mode. So you can see here in mode, we're set to MC, which stands for Mackie Control. And for interface, we're set to USB. Those are the two you need to have set. You can change them by using the dials above the scribble strips. So MC for your mode, which is Mackie Control, and interface is set to USB. Once you have those selected, hit select on the console, and that's all you need to do to be ready to connect to mixing station. So the next thing we need to do is have a look at the software. So first things first, in mixing station, you wanna make sure you actually have MIDI support turned on. So you go to the cog and under app, you can see MIDI support is on. If it says off, obviously click it. So you can see here, I've got an X Air edit window open. I've got mixing station open. And I also have a Soundcraft uh, UI page open. And that's because I'm gonna show you how to connect to both these mixers because those are the two I have. So for starters, let's connect to my X Air mixer. Now, what you need to do is set up a MIDI connection. So you go into the cog and you click on MIDI and you go to add new device. So you want it to be set to X-Touch MCU, which stands for Mackie Control. And under input, you want to set it to X-Touch. Hit apply and that's it. You should have seen the faders come to life. And if I do this, you can see now on the Xair Edit software, I have control of the faders. Now, what I don't have is master fader control. This is something if you're connected directly to the mixer you would normally have. But when you're connected through mixing station, that is not a default parameter. So this is how you go about setting that up. Come back to your MIDI setup in mixing station and you are actually going to click on it. And what you need to do is define the fader that you want to use for the master. Now, we know that it's the ninth fader, but if you weren't sure you were using a different device, what you could do is turn on Find Controller and touch or move the fader that you want. Now, it jumped to Fader 9 Touch because there's a touch move as well as an actual move. So we just want to go back to Fader 9, and it's set to Pitch and 8. So right now, we're going to go into Edit Action. We're going to change Current Channel to Bus Master Channel, and then we're going to click on Main and make sure it's set to fader, which it is. So with that done, now if I move the master fader on the control surface, you can see that I'm actually controlling the master fader in the software. And if we have a look at the main mixing station window, you can see that the same thing is happening there. So that's how you connect it to the XR. So let's talk about how to connect it to the Soundcraft. It's exactly the same. But in this case, I'm going to disconnect, click yes, and I'm going to choose connect to my Soundcraft. Now I don't have a full version, but I can connect in trial mode for this um, mixer. I could buy a license, but I haven't needed to yet. So right now I'm just going to go in trial mode. All the functions are the same, so you'll see how to do it. Continue in trial mode. You can see we're connected, but I'm moving the faders and I do not have any control. So same thing, go to the cog, go to MIDI, new device, Mackie control, change this to X-Touch, yes, and click apply. And you can see that I now have control in the Soundcraft software as well as in the Mixing Station software. What about our master fader? Nope, moving that and it's not working. So the same thing, come back to your MIDI, go in here, go down to fader nine or hit find controller and move your fader, go to add action, current channel to bus master channel, main fader, and that's it. Now we have control of the master fader, both in our Soundcraft application and in mixing station. And that's it. 
So there you go, successful connection using your X-Touch to talk to mixing station via USB MIDI, and then mixing station tells your mixer what to do. I hope this was interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, be sure to like and share and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. And until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies.